Hey guys, day 17 and it's Tuesday at lunchtime and I just made a Target run to um, grab a gift for my Secret Santa gift -y. Um I'll show you here in a second what I got for her. Um, yeah, I'm chilly. Um, got my Starbucks because you know you can't go to Target without getting Starbucks and it's double star day so you know, addict's gonna addict I guess. Um, and I think I'm gonna make a quick trip to Costco since I have a little bit of time left on my lunch break and see about getting a couple more gifts. So I ended up getting a bottle of Tanqueray gin, um, which is one of the things that she said she enjoys. And you know, who doesn't like a bottle of liquor for Christmas? Um, and then these Lindor truffles I just thought would be really yummy to toss in and I could not not get these mugs. So here's one that says Santa, let me explain. I think that one's gonna be for me. And the one I got for her, because I know she's a mom, um, is All Mama Wants is a Silent Night. And I thought that was so funny. So this mug, I'll fill it with chocolate and with the gin, and I hope she loves it. So I gotta package that up and get it to her. Uh, before Friday. Costco trip done. It happens every single time. I go in for like two things and wind up leaving with a trunk full of stuff. Um, I went in for Sherpa throw blankets and found two, which they're like $11.99. So definitely check that out. They're a steal and they're huge and they're so soft. Um, but then I got, you know, snacks and um, some tops for me and a couple gifts for my son. But Guys, Costco and Target in the same hour? Like, I was definitely tempting fate today. I shut the iPad and this girl is trying to get it open so she can play her mouse game. <laughs> Today's advent for day 17 is this really pretty mahogany, um, dark pinky purple brown and it is called Berry Compote and the Sandpiper Base, which is her 100% Superwash Merino single ply. And it came with an adorable little stitch marker. So that is from the Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent. And then we have Cat Sandwich Fibers, which is a very pretty very pastel speckled skein and then I almost laughed because I opened up the fiber for today which is merino and it is very similar with those pastel almost eastery colors um, so yeah it's very soft very squishy and uh, that'll be a fun one to spin up I took you guys along today to, as I was running around picking up gifts for my Secret Santa gifty, and when I got back to work, this was sitting on my desk, which at first my heart stopped because I thought it was another cup of coffee, and I had just gotten a coffee at Target, um, but it said, look inside, Merry Christmas. And inside, was a $5 gift card to Starbucks. 
And yesterday, whoops, yesterday I ended up getting a little box full of chocolates. So I just think that's so much fun. Um, my secret Santa must know me well. Chocolates and Starbucks is literally the way to my heart. Um, so yeah, I'm your secret Santa. This is so much fun. I will be gifting mine um, tomorrow morning, hoping that she won't be at her desk when I go to drop it off. Um, and I can't wait to see what is in store for tomorrow from my secret Santa. Hey guys, happy Wednesday, December 18th. Um, I am home for lunch. I am about to smash this delicious Panda Express Chinese food, the honey sesame chicken. If you haven't had it yet, you should definitely try it. The kitty wants to get it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat some lunch and then get a bit of work done and I'll bring you guys along with me. the studio um, getting some orders dyed up. Yeah. I can't show you uh, what I'm gonna be dyeing today because they are both secrets. There's quite a bit of advent skeins that are going in the dye pots today and, uh, as well as the December Mystery Club. So I cannot show you unfortunately the pans that I'll be dyeing um, because then it would ruin the surprise for those that are grabbing those. So um, yeah, it's chilly out here. I die out of my garage for the time being. Um, it's really cold in here. <laughs> it's like 36 degrees outside, which means it's probably about 40, 45 in here. Um, but to be honest, I'd rather have it chilly than super warm. So I'm gonna get to dying and then I'm gonna go volunteer for a little bit, do some volunteer work. Um, 
and I'll check back with you guys later. Speaking of those Advent skeins, I have set aside a few extra to gift or give away. And right now I'm currently running a giveaway over on my Instagram account, so definitely check that out. I'll pop my Instagram username right here, but it is Lofty Loops on Instagram. Uh, find the post that says Advent Giveaway. It'll be really obvious which one it is, and follow the uh, steps on there to be entered to win that giveaway. It is open worldwide, so I will ship all over the place um, with no cost to you. And uh, with the caveat that obviously if it's shipping international um, or outside of the US, it probably will not get there by Christmas time. Um, but I will get it in the post as soon as humanly possible. And that giveaway is going to close on Friday, this Friday, the 20th, uh, because I believe like this weekend is going to be our last posting day. And I think the 20th is our last posting day um, for domestic shipping. So I really, I want to get those out ASAP. So uh, check that out if you guys are interested in entering to win an Advent skein. Um, they are totally secret until December 25th, at which point I'm sure people that have received them in their Advent calendars will be posting them on social media uh, and things of that nature. So just keep that in mind um, that it is to remain a secret until December 25th. Obviously, if you get one, you can open it whenever you receive it. If you want, just try not to share um, or spoil the surprise for anyone else. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know about that if that's something you're into. It does not get much better than this. I love my afternoon mm -hmm. lattes. And I just warm my milk up in the microwave and then I have a blender, handheld little frother and I make it nice and foamy, and then I tossed in some pumpkin pie spice just for funsies, because why not? Time for today's Advents. Today is December 18th, so here we go. Got my cat sandwich fibers, sweet sparrow yarns, and my wool fiend spinners Advent. Right, today's sweet sparrow yarns is another slub yarn, which I am so excited about. I love this base. These little slubs in there make so much fun texture. Um, and this is called Still Life and it is on her puffin base. And this is a brand new base that has been released um, kind of to the indie dyer world. I have yet to dye on it and I'm not sure that I will, um, but I am loving these from Julie so much. So if you're into this kind of yarn, go check out her shop um, because this is too much fun. So I'm really excited to get that into my blanket. And then today's Cat Sandwich Fibers is another beautiful pastel-y watercolor, very light colorway with some grays and blues and yellows. Very pretty. It'll go very well with yesterday's. And then today's fiber from Wolfiend is a BFL silk blend and it's this gorgeous light pink mauve with some beiges in there. And y'all know how much I love my mauve colors, so yay. Um, I will probably add this to my pink and peach spin that I've got going because it will just be perfect. Um, and I think I can fit just a little bit more on that bobbin, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably spin this up on there today. Let's have a bit of a Advent knitting update because I've been sharing bits and pieces with you guys throughout this Vlogmas, um, but I have not sat down and shared how far I've gotten in any of these things for a few days. So this is my Fly True blanket. It is a pattern by Melissa Alexander Loomis or Skinanigans, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Um, but it is a very wonderful scrappy blanket project. Um, and right now I'm just working on my first vertical strip. So you will then place another vertical strip here, but opposite, so you'll create these chevrons out of these blocks of colors. So this is what I'm adding all of my Cat Sandwich Fibers yarns to. 
and I can't remember where it was last time I shared this with you, but I have one, two, three, four, and I'm working on my fifth color here. So I am very far behind, um, but that's okay. I am not worried about it. I'm just enjoying this process so, so much. Um, and I am holding the yarn double to create a DK weight. So I am following the DK version of this pattern. Um, however, there are um, fingering weight instructions as well, but I love the squish of the DK. So um, yeah, and I'm getting a pretty good amount. They are 20 gram skeins or 20 gram minis. So I'm getting a very large chunk of color here by holding it double. So there is quite a bit of yarn going into this thing. And I think after five or six, I'm thinking six, I will check the length on it and see if it's at a place where I'll be happy starting the next vertical stripe or vertical column. Um, I wanna make it big enough to where it can be comfy to curl up in on the couch, but not so, so large that it has to go on a bed all the time. So that is kind of my idea for right now. So we'll see where I'm at after this one um, and then the sixth. My dust of snow is also falling very far behind, but again, just really enjoying the process of working on this. I have added the fourth color here. So this is day four of the Lofty Loops Yarns Advent. So the yarn that I dyed up for Advent calendars this year. Um, and I am going through each day and adding the next mini. Again, those were 20 gram minis, so I'm getting about five to seven grams left over after each section here. So it does take around 14 to 16, somewhere 15-ish grams. Um, but I should have enough to then toss into a scrappy blanket. But here we are, I have faded in color four. So if I can remember, this is Gather, Cherry Cordial, Slick, and Olive, I believe, is day four. Um, and I'm holding it double with a stand, uh, I'm holding it with a strand of this beautiful undyed mohair silk lace weight. So it is fingering weight, um, but held double with that mohair gives it just this incredible halo. So that is so fun. This thing is so squishy and so soft and I just love working on it. This pattern is by Helen Stewart or Curious Handmade. It was part of her knit vent from last year, but you can grab the pattern on its own on Ravelry right now. Um, and it's going to be a massive rectangular or parallelogram wrap. So this thing is going to be huge um, and I'm so excited for it. So here's the rest of olive that I'm working with right now. It is just a very beautiful olive tonal green. Um, and the skein of mohair, I do have these available in the shop. Um, I do have them on drift, or I do have the drift colorway as well, which is just a white. Um, so it's really nice to hold double here. Um, so you don't wanna draw, when you don't wanna draw away from any of the colors of the fingering weight yarn you're using, it's really nice to use a skein of white. Um, so those are available in the shop right now. Um, I got a little progress keeper on there that I need to move up. Um, but yeah, this is my dust of snow. And last but certainly not least, because this is the one getting the most love, is, what else is in there? Oh, I got some snacks. Ooh, this is um, the adorable little teeny tiny flax light baby sweater that I am knitting for a friend who is due to have her first baby um, in April. So I have been working on that here and there. I am ready to split for the sleeves, which is why I put it down and have not picked it back up. So I need to split for those sleeves and finish off the body. Oh, but it's just so tiny, so cute. This is the You Know Nothing colorway from the shop. Um, it was a Game of Thrones inspired colorway. Um, Jon Snow obviously knows nothing. So I think I have a few skeins left in the shop from that if you're interested. But this beautiful sushi roll type thing is just giving me life right now. 
So this is my northeasterly blanket. You will have seen this a few times if you're familiar with the podcast, um, and I've shared it with you a few times here on Vlogmas, but it's getting so much love. I'm putting such a dent into this thing. Um, so here, let's see. I had started tossing in my 10 gram minis from Sweet Sparrow Yarns, and so here, and here, I believe, from this blue, green blue up, and this one up are all Sweet Sparrow yarns that I have been adding this Advent season. So here's that slub that I was talking about. Look how fun that texture is. So I'm excited to add another slub yarn soon. This is another pattern by uh, Melissa Alexander Loomis or Skinanigans. This was her Advent scrappy blanket um, release last year, last Advent season. And I have to tell you, I love it so much. It's so fun to just sit and knit on. It's so simple and it looks so fancy. I am living for these, this yak base of Julie's. Oh my goodness. Look at those colors. And I am not normally a solid color lover, but th this, oh, it's just giving me all the hard eyes. So yeah, this again, you knit these in columns. So I have done, this is my first column. And then I'm working the second column in tandem. Here pretty soon I'll probably be adding the third column in, um, but this thing is just gonna keep growing. At this point, I'm not quite sure. I haven't laid it out fully to see how long it is, but again, I'm going for the um, just couch throw blanket type. Um, I would love, love, love to have a queen size that I could put on my bed, but in all realness, it'll get more love and more use on the couch where we can snuggle up in it. So yes, this is my Northeasterly. Again, holding the yarns double for a DK weight. The pattern includes DK and fingering weight, so you get to make that choice for yourself. That's my Advent knitting. This thing, that, that, uh, but yeah, guys, I've been having so much fun adding all of those Advent skeins to these projects. Um, I have a whole nother <laughs> cluster of them right there that are waiting to get caked up. I have an even bigger bag of them uh, that are already caked up that I just am going to put in so much work on over the next few days and this weekend and then next week when I go on vacation. Um, oh, I'm so excited.